a three-story building behind a construction site in Majestic came crashing in the last week of July. A multiplex was being raised beside the site and the construction of a parking lot was on at the time of the incident. Luckily, no one was injured. Interestingly, a building owned by N. Gangaram had collapsed on this exact site in 1983. The tragic incident had left 123 dead and over 150 injured. Hello, I'm Priyanka Rachaya. Welcome to today's episode of Property Matters. Two incidents, same spot. And what exactly went wrong, then and now? Majestic stands on the Dharmambudi lake bed. It's a waterlogged area. The soil has the capacity to retain moisture for years together. And this fact was ignored by the contractors. Soil strength or soil bearing capacity of the place was not taken into consideration. Unstable soil slopes can be treated through remedial measures like soil nailing. But that wasn't done. The ground was dug to a depth of almost 80 feet, much deeper than the foundation of the adjacent buildings. Excavation method that was employed was wrong. Primary safeguard taken during construction of such a huge scale that is building of the retention wall was not done. And the reasons for the building collapse in 1983 were that the structure was already old. It stood on a foundation and not on the support of columns or beams. The owner kept constructing floor after floor without providing any support. The builder or the contractor, uh, whoever is doing the execution, uh, he might have not followed the standard norms. Uh, you know, when I say the standard norms, maybe the setback or the bylaws, uh, the setbacks he might have not, you know, kept as per the rules and regulations. And the second thing is, uh, you know, the retaining wall or, you know, the retention wall, what you say, you know, they might have not built on all the four sides. I also heard they have built the retention wall on two or three sides and uh, they have not done it on all the four sides. This is also one of the reason. And one more, uh, the big reason is the depth of excavation what they have done is quite huge. The tragic incident wouldn't have occurred if the government authorities had done their duties well. Usually, BBMP officials inspect constructions of such a huge scale. They cross-verify the construction with the approved plan. The building was dug to a depth of almost 80 feet. Was this plan sanctioned by the government? If not, how did the construction happen? And how did it go unnoticed by the concerned authorities? A case has been registered against the owner of the construction site. The authorities have asked him to compensate for the damages caused. However, the owners of the adjacent buildings of the collapsed site are now being asked to vacate in order to ensure their safety. There is nothing wrong in asking the contractor to show the plan approval that they have received from the competent authority. After all, this is to ensure safety of your home and several other adjacent houses. Keep an eye on the construction. Construction depth cannot go beyond the depth of your house's foundation. And in case it goes, then excavation must happen in a scientific way. And safety measures like construction of retention walls must be ensured. In case the construction is happening too close, then you can get a consent letter from the owner that no damage will be caused to your building or compound. And in case it happens, the owner will be liable to pay the expenses. When such a huge building construction is happening, the people who are near or the adjacent to the property, they should make sure whether they have the proper signatory authority from the government who has already approved the building of the construction. The construction building is already approved or not that they should be able to check. The second thing is again whether the there is always you know there is a difference between what is being approved by the uh, the, zone, the local municipal authority and what is being uh, done at the site there is always a variation. So the neighboring property or the people who are staying next to the site they should be able to make sure that what is being approved 
is being executed at the site and the third is uh, important one more is you know uh, the bylaws should be followed while in 1983 the owner erred in 2020 the contractor blundered but the common factor in both the cases is that the authorities ignore but if one aware citizen had raised an objection then this tragedy could have been averted isn't it do like and share the video in case you found it informative also subscribe to mb tv and follow me on twitter for more such insights this is priyanka rachaya signing off with camera person pragat please subscribe to magic bricks on youtube and press the bell icon to get new videos